Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of our Southern California first-time buyer housing market update. My name is Stephen Mead. I'm your host. I'm with Domicile Real Estate, where we are on a mission to help California's renters become homeowners. I'm actually on location. We've got a fake background here, but I'm in Anaheim right now at the California Association of Realtors uh, business meetings, right? This is where committees meet, discuss policies, things to protect homeowners, um, kind of a lot of things going on, really. And I want to share a little bit about what do we use this data for? Uh, what is this data good? And when is this data maybe something that isn't going to work for you? And one of the things I want to talk about is that at the end of the day, real estate is fundamentally a local business. And some people have asked me, do we think with technology that real estate agents will ever go away? And I think the answer is no. I think technology and data are supportive tools for real estate agents. And the reason why I think that is an example that I'd like to share with you is something we have going on right now. So I'm going to make you wait until the end. I'm going to go through exactly what the numbers tell you. And then I'm going to tell you how we have some anecdotal data that says exactly the opposite and how do we reconcile that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go through our aggregate data. It's an important word that we're going to use here. Our aggregate data um, regarding where the market is at. So the first thing we've got here is our closed data. And just as a reminder, this is for LA and Orange County. This is our first quartile meant to point towards that entry level end of the market. The blue line is an entry level single family home. And the red line is an entry level condo, kind of a two bedroom, two bath configuration. And I want you to look at what does this chart say, right? This chart basically says that that single family home market is a bit stagnant. The red line or a condo market, that actually says that this is a market. I mean, this is like basically a four week period of, of really kind of dropping that median price. I mean, that looks like great news for entry level buyers in the condo segment. Um, I've often talked about that sort of middle of August to end of September as really being a bit of a quiet period. And remember, this is closed data. So this is four to six weeks old. It's based on contracts that were negotiated four to six weeks ago. So if we look here, our monthly payment, this incorporates interest rates. That is pretty flat here, 6,212. We are actually down to 4,572 on our monthly payment for our entry level condo. Remember, this is based on 5% down. It includes mortgage insurance. It includes HOA fees, property taxes. We really wanted this to be a very representative payment for an entry-level buyer who might not be coming in with a lot of down payment money, though obviously that helps. So if we look here too on our household income required, that too is pretty flat line for our single family home, but we are again down to around $112,000 for our entry-level condo. Now, this is the one that I think is, is especially misleading, or I'm gonna tell you why that this is a great aggregate tool, but it may not be describing the market that you're in. So our absorption rate is this quick and dirty calculation, right, to show you how many homes have come on the market in the last two weeks and how many homes have gone off the market in desk in the last two weeks. And so if we look at that, what do we have here? For our children, single family home, 80%. That's a little bit of a drop, right? That's still a very competitive market. But look at this on this condo, and this one has dropped to down to 69%. That is actually going into this kind of more of a more of a balanced market between buyers and sellers, right? At that point for those entry-level condos. If we look at our total inventory, that number is also starting to rise a little bit in both of these categories. That's a little bit, um, you know, last year if we looked at that, we were mostly flat through this time period, but it's not unusual to see some little bumps at whatnot. Uh, but really not a huge amount of movement in that inventory, but it's still a little bit upward, right? That indicates a less competitive market. If we look at our still active uh, percentage of the last 14 days, we are flat and elevated for our entry-level condos, and we are actually more competitive, right, for our entry-level single-family homes. Remember on this one, a higher number is less competitive, a lower number is more competitive. Finally, though, we're going to look at our weak supply of homes. And for our condos here, we have seen that relative inventory actually go down. That's kind of interesting, right? 
absolute inventory went up, meaning the number of homes available, but based on the rate of homes going into escrow, that means we are now under eight weeks of inventory. And we also saw our single family home revenue or our single family home supply slip a little bit as well, down to just under five and a half weeks. Now I'm gonna share with you an experience. We have a client, um, this is a, a real client that we're working with, who's kind of looking in the central Orange County zone for one of these entry level condos, that two bedroom, two bath configuration. And what are we noticing is that in that central Orange County area, especially if it has a garage, if it's got those two full baths, that is a very, very hot market segment. Almost all the properties are going significantly above their list prices. There are a great, there is a disparity, right, between the number of buyers looking for these units and the number that are available. So we are not seeing that particular market look that soft. However, our aggregate data, right, which is all of Los Angeles and Orange County says that on average, that is a softer market, but it's that's not what our buyers in this particular market segment are seeing. And I think that's the reason why agents are always going to be important in that market, right? You're always going to want somebody who can read what's happening. There just isn't enough data really to support that. You're going to want someone who's got colleagues, someone who can talk to people, someone who could say, hey, this house didn't go as much as I thought it was, or, oh, we got way more offers than we were expecting. This is all important information and an agent help you develop kind of a strategy for your particular situation. Anyhow, enough of a commercial. If you were looking to become a homeowner, and I really hope you are because I, I think it's not going to get easier. I think people are waiting for like this moment when it's going to be easy. I don't think that's coming, not anytime soon. We just don't have a lot that is going to be changing the levels of inventory. I think that's really what's kind of keeping this market propped up or even accelerating it in some cases, right? When every single property that comes up gets 10 offers, there's really only one direction for prices to go. And that's because there are way more buyers than there are available properties in that segment to meet those needs. But if you're looking to buy your first home, and we really hope you are, we'd love to be your voice of reason and expertise, definitely reach out to us. Um, we take a consultative approach. That means we sit down and we figure out a strategy. We're very deliberate. We'd love to work with you. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We've got extra information down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again real soon.